Just finished doing this workout. It was really tough. Um, it's been a while. It's been a while since we hung out together. I'm gonna introduce you to some people. This is Pete. What's up, guys? He's one of the relatively new coaches. Relatively new, yeah. Here at Iron Tribe, but he's, he's like he's been here forever. I try to be part of the family. Bossing people around, yelling at them. <laughs> and you know Van. Hey, what's going on, what's going on? You killed it on those double unders today. Uh, so much of the rope broke. So much of the rope broke. He broke the rope. That's how good I am. What are double unders? All right, let me show you real quick. So I got a job doing some filming for a restaurant. It's a really exciting client and an exciting project. So I'll tell you more about that later, but I gotta go get ready. I'll be right back. I just got done filming with uh, the client that I'm working with. I don't know the rules about like what you're allowed to talk about when you're in the middle of a project or whatever. So, but I will tell you this: that um, while I was sh while while I was filming, they asked me if I wanted their their famous sandwich, and so I'm gonna try it with the with the famous sauce. This is not the sandwich. This is water because it is ridiculously hot outside. Why is it so hot? There we go. There we go. That looks, that just looks wonderful. I'm gonna have to save some of this for Rachel. It's really good. I don't know if I'll be able to save some for Rachel. So I took a break from vlogging for a little bit. Not intentionally, I actually tried to record for a few days and I just had this thing keep happening where I would get about halfway through my day and I'd feel like I don't know where to go from here. Like I don't know how I'm going to end this video, how I'm going to tie it up. Like what's the story, you know? And because one of, the, one of the reasons I'm doing this is because I want to get better at storytelling and not just telling stories, but finding stories even in what seems like just a mediocre day. And part of telling stories is, you know, that you have a resolution or you have an act three you have an ending you land the plane and that's the thing I've been just having a lot of trouble with uh, to be honest right now I don't really even know how I'm gonna land this video but we'll see you're along for the ride I promised my friend Van that I would post this video no matter what so like I said I don't know where we're gonna go from here but I appreciate that you're along for the ride I am dropping off an envelope. This is the signed contract for Rachel's book deal, which is, I don't know if I had shared that news with you. Um, Rachel's dream, her lifelong dream, has been to get a book traditionally published, and it is happening. So as long as I don't mess this up, as long as I can bring this to the post office and get it mailed off, her dreams will come true. So really, really excited about that. And then um, I'm also dropping this off, which is a return from Amazon. I, they sent us the shipping label, which is great. Thank you, Amazon. But now I, I, have, to, I have to drive it to the UPS store. I think I, like, I would pay an extra dollar a month just so that if I ever have a return, somebody would come and pick it up. I would pay an extra dollar a month in my Prime membership. Does anybody else feel the same? All right, so I'm gonna go do that.
All right, I dropped off the packages and uh, I wanted to show you these clouds. They're amazing. I was driving up here and just admiring them and the way they hang in the sky like that. So I told you I wasn't sure how I was gonna land this thing and I'm still not sure, but I have a few more stops to make, going to Trader Joe's and Target. Woo! And then uh, then it's family movie night. So it's a, it's a fun night. Every Friday night, we let the boys have hot dogs and french fries and we all watch a family friendly movie together and then they go to bed. What do Rachel and I eat? Uh, every Friday night after the boys go to bed, I go and get 54th Street Grill, which is delicious, and I bring it back, and we eat that while we watch our favorite Netflix shows. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to finish this video off with a montage of me doing all of the things that I said I was going to do. television in our living room so I am um, I constantly have to move the television back and forth from the upstairs to the downstairs um, I like not having a TV in the living room though because the TV kind of becomes the focal point and it's nice not to have that but I don't know it would be nice if maybe we had a projector and a screen that just like came down from the ceiling uh, whenever we wanted to watch movies one day got the food. I'm not going to do a showcase and stuff. Uh, I'm just going to take it up to Rachel and we are going to enjoy a show. And so I'm going to bid you adieu and say good night. Thanks for watching. <laughs>